I'm making this video simply because I haven't made a video in a while. And I just want to let y'all know I'm alive. Still haven't found a job. This is a hard time to look for work. Part of it is that, I mean, I still do pretty much every day. I'll, I'll apply for at least one or two jobs. Some days I'll apply for three or four. four. Some days I'll like put in an application just to say I did. And other days I just kind of don't have the motivation to even bother looking. No, but I mean the the climate is so t rough right now. I mean there aren't there are a lot of jobs that are disappearing. Just there are still millions of people filing for unemployment. A lot of the places that are opening, though, know, they're they're only welcoming back some of their core employees, and they're not looking for new people. And then there's a lot of there's a lot of places that are like yeah we're slowing it we're, we're opening but okay cases are back up we're slowing down again kind of thing and it's just it's a hard comment right now for anyone to look for a job um, but I am still at least trying I'm still being picky I'm still being relatively picky but I am still putting in effort at the same time like I'm not I want a job. I want to start earning money again because a lot we're, we're having record-setting heat waves across the country, and Texas is one of those places. And if you can't hear it, that means it's not on. And there are and looking at the forecast, there are going to be some nights where it's getting into the 80s, overnight, in the 80s. We're getting to 100 degree temperatures daily, <sighs> and. I'm trying my best not to use the, the AC for more than four hours a day because not using it at all would be ridiculously dangerous. But I have a giant fan over here which does a half decent job of keeping me uh, from at least, at least keeping the sweat off me. I mean, I'm not necessarily comfortable, but it does its job well enough. It keeps me from dying. That's the important part. <laughs> Plus, you know, I really like that. I want to get more paychecks in so I can start doing, trying to get these books out again. Which also, I'm starting to consider. I've been networking more with some writers and stuff. And I'm starting to consider the possibility of, of actually putting in query letters to literary agents and seeing if I can't get some sort of publishing deal. It might be worth the try, especially if I can't get a good, jo good job anytime soon. And I'm not happy about people dying, especially because there are thousands of unnecessary deaths happening across the country, and it's going to get worse. No, because a doctor was just saying... I don't know if it was Fauci, but I know someone sa said that the the deaths usually happen like two weeks after the cases. And so we're having tens of thousands of new cases every single day. And it's, so that means hope, you know, a couple weeks from now, like we're going to be seeing thousands of deaths every day in all over the nation. And that's not good. Because we've already got... 130,000 deaths last I checked and it's it's gonna get worse and honestly that number could be even higher as hospitals are getting overwhelmed it's it's a scary world out there unfortunately life goes on and you know our government refuses to shut anything down now that we actually keep seeing more things reopening even though they really shouldn't and no, just everyone watching, if it's possible for you to stay home, please stay home. Because this world is just getting worse. And honestly, it's it's hard to stay optimistic right now. I just, I mean, shit, what else could possibly go wrong in 2020, really? It's just... It's, it's a scary world. It's just, it's a very scary time. And honestly, 
I'm feeling very disheartened. Because I'm thinking about all the times, especially as a teenager, when people would say, oh, it gets better, life gets easier. When the fuck does that happen? When the fuck does it get any easier? Because so far, you know, 30 years of life, it feels like each year has just continuously gotten more and more difficult than the previous. But, whatever. I'm choosing hope. It's real easy to fall into despair, but I'm choosing hope. I'm trying my best. It would be a lot easier if I could still be in therapy right now, but... Like I said, some days are a lot easier than others, but I am choosing hope. <sighs> but, yeah... It's not getting any easier. It's really not. And so... Oh. Well, I'll, I'll leave you with something. I've been thinking about... You know what I've always wanted? A cake. Because I see... Because pretty much every cake I've ever eaten in my life has either been a square or a circle. But I keep seeing all these cakes, like, that are shaped like different things. People making entire, like, furniture out of cakes and all these different things. And I saw a mo movie with, like, an entire... I was at a TV show, whatever. An entire car. Just It was a cake, but it was a fucking car. Like, big enough you could actually sit in it. And they fucked it up. They didn't actually get to eat it. But the point is, someone made a cake out of a... Someone t made a car out of cake. I mean, if I could choose one that would be extravagant and possibly expensive, I would make myself. Like, a little foot, two feet tall Nathan. And it's like, okay... We'll go elaborate with this. Like, hair, obviously black licorice. Obviously. You know, chocolate for the outer layer, but on the inner layer, you can have, like, either vanilla or white chocolate for the bones. And, I mean, for the muscles, what? Red velvet? Would we go there? I don't know. And, of course, you got to have either some cherry or strawberry some in, you know, in there so that when you cut off the head or the hand or something, it's like, oh, look, there's blood dripping out. I'm a very disturbed man. But honestly, I want that cake. <laughs> uh, I think if I ever do uh, get a million dollar paycheck, that's going to be one of the first things I do. Commission a Nathan cake. And then cut its head off and eat it. Because who hasn't wanted to eat their own head? So, yeah, anyways, just letting you know. I'm alive, I'm uncomfortable, and I'm fighting hard not to fall into despair. But, I still choose hope. So, till the next time you see me, whenever the fuck that may be, stay safe everyone.